final question here. Um, and I don't want it to be, yeah, I don't want it to be um, reductive or anything like that. Um, so you can either make it short and sweet or you can go war and peace if you'd like. Um, what do you believe Dan's legacy is? And I'm saying that purposefully open because we could talk about advertising, we could talk about the industry, but being a multi-hyphenate um, and one of the more unique individuals to ever, as I said earlier, roam yeah. this earth, um, what do you believe his legacy is? Well, I'll do mine short and sweet. I think um, looking at the outpourings this last week, it was so amazing to see the stories of who he was as a person mm. and what a success the business and what an impact the work has been. So I think Dan's legacy is like he cracked the code on commercializing raw human creativity and he showed thousands of us how to do it. Mm. Yeah. Mira. Beautiful. Um, you know, I, when I, when I think about it, I think there's an overlap that I see between his work at Caldera, which was really, really important to him and mm -hmm. what he did at Wyden. You know, he hired me all the way from Beirut, Lebanon. You know, I was not American. I did not, you know, I'd never had a whole, you know, years of lived experience in America. You know, he totally, I think he, he, just like he did with Caldera, I think he took a chance on people and he brought in people and he gave people chances to come and really see what they can do. And I think that's amazing. I think there's something, I think, you know, he's going to live on, his legacy is going to be, he's going to live on through all of us, mm -hmm. you know, carrying that. And I mean, all the different people, I could think of so many different people that he just, he, he, I mean, Dan was talking about, you know, diversifying this industry and hiring black people way like years, you know, decades yeah. probably before anybody was, I mean, you know, the industry has maybe been talking about it for three, four years. Like Dan's been talking about it for 20 years and he did. And he did. He made it a point, whether through Caldera or through Widen and Kennedy, like he made it. Everybody knew that that was such a priority for him to just have more, you know, different, different types of people in the building. So you can actually create like better work. Right. He knew he knew that that was what needed to happen. And he knew that this industry wasn't diverse. He knew that Portland wasn't diverse and he made that a priority. Um, and I think so the combination of how he's diversified this industry and also how he's given people opportunities and those people are going to keep on carrying on, you know, kind of going to pay it forward. I think that's his real legacy. 